Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. What would you say if I told you that I can double the focal length from 400 to 800 mm with only two clicks without much loss of quality? You don't believe me? But it's true. The magic word is clear image zoom. But what is this? Clear image zoom is a feature that allows you to enlarge the image without a resolution close to the original one. The camera first zoom optically to the maximum optical magnification, then use clear image zoom technology to enlarge the image an additional two times, producing sharp clear images despite the increased zoom ratio. And the best part? Unlike cropping and normal interpolation, you lose a little bit if any detail when you zoom in. The file size remains unchanged and there are zero light loss. The maximum aperture of your f1.4 lens remains f1.4, even when you double the image magnification. But there are also some downsides. The clear image function does not operate in following situations. In movie mode, in swept shooting mode, when smile shutter function is activated, when the face detection function is activated, when image quality is set to RAW or RAW and JPEG, and when ISO is set to multi-frame noise reduction. To activate the clear image zoom function, go to the main menu and under the cogwheel icon, you will find the zoom settings and set it to clear image zoom. There are a couple of ways to engage the clear image zoom function from here, but the quickest and easiest method is to dedicate the custom buttons for this function by going back to the cogwheel menu, select custom key settings and select zoom under any available the custom buttons. On my camera I dedicated the custom center button for clear image zoom. One engaged, you could zoom in or out by pressing the rear control wheel left or right. To zoom in or out quicker, every time you press the control wheel up or down, it automatically zooms in 50%. Press twice and it zooms directly to two times magnification. Now I will show you how good it works in real life and afterwards I will show you the image quality. Okay, now you see here the two birds. Let's zoom in on 400 mil all the way out okay check 400 mil good let's try the clear image zoom i will zoom two times that means we have now focal range of 800 and click that's it now we are zooming back I took another picture to compare this. Okay, now we are here on our side-by-side -side comparison. What you see here left is the image that I shoot with the 400mm. And on the right side is the image that I took with the two times clear image zoom. And what you see here on the first image, we have still 44 megapixel with a megabyte of nearly 12 and when I go to the clear image zoom you see almost identical we have here 11.37 megabyte that means we have little bit image quality but not that much you see here it's it's a very clear image and it works very well so I have cropped this image here to the same size of the clear image zoom image and it looked like this and what you see directly we have now 2.33 megabytes and now we have a 12 megapixel image instead of 44 megapixel and on the first look you can see the clear image zoom image is much sharper if I zoom in of course the 44 megapixel image will zoom much more but to compare these two images you see on the first look you see much more details here and it works extremely well so this is the image that I've took with the cropped APAC mode 18 megapixel and I've used also the clear image zoom that means you have now a focal range of 1200 mil instead of 800 mil. And if I zoom in, you see here we have a quality loss, but it's 
still usable. So, what's your opinion of the clear image zoom? Did you already know this? Or do you have some questions about it? Please write it in the comments down below. If you like this test, I will also appreciate if you can leave a like and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.